What's up you more dedicated dickheads? Today we're going to learn how to make a black letter calligraphy execution in Adobe Illustrator. So if you watched my last video, um, we went into how to make an entire alphabet in black letter. Um, I did forget the Q and uh, that's on me. Uh, but you know, if you're curious, a way that you can make a Q is just take this bar and extend it down. Um, and there you go. If you want, you can add a 45. Um, doesn't really matter. It's a bullshit letter. Um, so let's not worry about it. Um, so what we're going to learn in this tutorial is just how to spice up your black letter alphabet and make a more uh, holistic calligraphy execution with your letters. Um, so there are a couple of ways that you can do that. Um, kind of a, a more simple way is you have some bars, since we uh, created this with single strokes, um, a lot of these bars are very editable in how they're curved and just how they're shaped in general. So take this uh, kick leg of the K. Um, I'm going to use the convert anchor point tool. You can hit shift C or just go down to your pin menu to find that. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click hold shift so it pulls straight out. And uh, yeah, I'm going to add just a little bit of curve to my letters. And that looks pretty cool. Um, it gives it a little bit, uh, yeah, just extra curve um, if, you, if, you, if that's what you're looking for. Uh, you can also do it to kind of the tops of the A or the E or anything like that. Um, I do like it on the A. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to curve the top of my C since uh, that shape is used a lot around the alphabet, I'm just going to kind of uh, break it up and yeah, uh, make that curved. Um, so yeah, that, that looks pretty cool. Um, obviously you always need to worry about kerning and uh, just how far your letters are spaced between one another. Um, so you can kind of edit and just, uh, again, just uh, manipulate all the shapes to, um, to where it looks clean and to where it's given the effect that you want, which is the most important thing. Um, you can be, you know, very mathematical and technical uh, with all of this, but sometimes shit just looks weird. Um, and yeah, you just need to make a personal choice on how you want to handle that. Um, I'm not gonna get too uh, much into kerning, plenty of kerning videos out there, but yeah, it's definitely important to giving a more uh, professional look to your logos and executions. Um, so the next thing I'm going to show you, um, I don't know what the typographic word for this, but I'm just calling it letter decoration. Um, it's specifically prevalent in black letter. It's just a way to give it a little more uh, weight. So I'm going to take uh, the dot of this I or the tittle, which is actually a typographic word I do know, and I'm going to copy it and I'm going to bring it to around the center of every vertical bar. So just like I did there, I'm going to go here. Try to align it really quick, just so there's nothing popping out. And I'm just going to continue this wherever there's a vertical bar. Um, I think this is good, like, you know, if you want to put this into a real world example, say you're making a birthday card for Dracula or someone like that. and. Uh, you know, you want to do something really cool with their name at the top of the birthday card just to, you know, give it a little, little, a bit of a type hierarchy and, uh, you know, just a little more character. Um, I think if you did this at the top of Dracula's birthday card, he'd be really impressed. Um, he, he, he would like that. He would like that a lot. Um, and you can even, like, I just did it in one place here, but you can even do it, um, say, the right side of the same bar. Uh, I'm just going to make a quick copy and pull it over here. Um, so yeah, you could do also that to every part of your letters. Oh, that goes straight into the K, so that wouldn't work. Uh, but you kind of get what I'm saying. Um, just wherever there's a little um, space that's not interfering with your decorations, um, you can add your decoration just to give it just you know, little couple of extra spines, a little extra weight. Again, this is a uh, pretty common in black letter, so I think this is a really uh, simple way and effective way to yeah, just give it a little more personalization 
I lost it. There we go. Oh no, still, still, still lost it. Um, yeah, just an easy way to uh, personalize your letters, and yeah, you can do this in a lot of different ways too. Um, there's definitely um, more than one way to skin this cat. If I can be extra goth for a second. Um, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna stop here. Um, that looks really cool. Um, I'm I'm actually really into how that came out. Um, so yeah. Um, a third thing that we can do is I just want to add an an outside like stroke or a force field, depending on what you want to call it. Um, so the way I'm gonna do that is first I'm going to highlight everything and just pull this down here just uh, in case we want to go back to this original uh, format that we had. Um, so I'm going to highlight everything here. I'm going to object, expand appearance, and that's going to expand our strokes. And then I want to go to the Pathfinder panel and just hit Unite. So that's going to group everything as well. Um, so yeah, um, you can make uh, kind of some quick inlines, but it's better to do an outline. Um, I will show an inline, just go to object path, offset path. Have a preview set up. And yeah, you can just go in until the bars are kind of thin like this. You don't want them to completely disappear. And with that, I'm just gonna turn them white. Uh, it needs some extra work, obviously, um, especially like places like the eye, it gets really messed up. But again, this is just a kind of gives you a quick starting point in order to uh, yeah play with your letters and give them a little bit of extra character. Uh, and yeah, to do an outline, it's the same thing. Uh, object, offset path. I'm going to bump this up, preview it so I can see it. 20 looks fine. Then I am going to turn that fill into a stroke. And uh, that looks pretty good. Uh, there are a couple of places with like some random noise, like here. Uh, you can go in and just delete those points. You know, clean it up after the fact. Um, but yeah, that's uh, pretty sick, and it looks more like just a final like band logo or something like that that you would use for a flyer or or anything. Um, and yeah, the last thing I'm going to show you is uh, just how to um, make just kind of a faux drop shadow. Um, a lot of people don't like doing the, doing it this way, but I don't give a shit. I'm just going to copy, and I'm going to drag a copy just sort of down and to the right. And uh, I'm going to turn that to a light gray. You can see it all from here. And then Command, Shift, Left Bracket to send it to the back. And... Uh, I like doing it this way because it still holds the whole, um, the whole execution, and you can kind of uh, manipulate your letters uh, pixel by pixel until it gives the effect that that you want. Um, and I don't know, say you were trying to do more of a futuristic type of goth thing. Uh, you can hit red here. I'm gonna hit blue here. Um, that makes it, you know not very metal, but then I'm going to go to opacity and I'm going to change all my layers to multiply. And that gives a cool 3D effect. Like, I don't know, maybe your goth band has some techno influence in it. Uh, you can do something like that. Um, and yeah, I'm going to kind of end it here. Um, I think I gave a lot of tips on just how to make your black letter stand out. Um, I don't know what happened there. Uh, I'm just gonna keep it black, I guess. And uh, yeah, uh, you can uh, kind of apply these techniques. Just uh, the main thing is just making it um, your own. And you know, I showed you some some basics and some some kind of just easy ways to add some character. But then uh, you know, you're you're the artist. Uh, make it make it your own. Um, but yeah, I uh, appreciate all you dickheads watching. Uh, all you dickheads that watch this every day, uh, you know, make it worth it for me. So thank you for being such a dickhead. Um, goodbye. Go back to the mall.